Bob leads a double life, as a web designer by day and social escort agent by night. But do his family and friends know? Uh, not at all, because I have, uh, right now I'm carrying five different cell phones. One is my day job and the other four are my night job. So that the, the clients don't like uh, the, the first service, they can call another service. If they don't like the second service, they can call the third service. If they don't like the third service, they can call the fourth service. So what's the difference between them? The pricing. With 65 websites and four phone numbers, Bob the social escort agent manages to give clients an illusion of choice. So in reality, the circle of agents may be smaller than one might think. It is a business uh, that is very, very competitive. If you've been in the business for 15 years, you will obviously uh, have more clients. If you've just started out, you will have a steady, incoming, uh, growing number of clients. But whether it's thriving or not remains to be seen. What drives you to it then? I mean, besides like the, the fact that you're free, you can do other jobs. So why this? I know some of these women and uh, basically it's just uh, touch and go for a few of them just to get out of their financial problems. So how does Bob, who has no hobbies and is not married, spend his day juggling two jobs? I, I wake up at about 8 or 9. Uh, I, I start making websites from orders uh, the previous week or the previous day ago. And if I get uh, other change requests during the day, I just continue working through them. If I cannot, I give them to my partners. In the meantime, some of the calls for the escort agencies might come in during the day or the night as well. And uh, we basically assign the girls uh, as, as the calls come in. How many uh, calls do you get a day? About 15 to 20 for the agency business. Most of these clients, he says, are expats. Singaporeans would seldom spend that kind of money on escorts. And in coming months, he plans to capitalize on the upcoming IRs. The casinos will bring in higher-end clients and we hope to acquire some higher-end clients for, for ourselves. You know, that is the way, uh, the nature of business. Are you going to cash in in any form? Like, How are you going to sort of target these clients? Uh, this is a business strategy. Uh, which we would rather not say, but basically we need to approach them. That is uh, the, the basic, simple answer. Bob's, Bob says he has already spent about 30000 on advertising for his S. But he doesn't see himself doing this in the long But he doesn't see himself doing this in the long term. Instead, he says he would try his hand at the end. On that note, check out our previous episode of Double Lies who features someone in the nightlife business at night and in the schools in the morning.